Welcome back to Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. We are on our way back to the Crusader camp to regroup and check in with everybody. Uh, but first, there is one more treat at the Lost Chapel. Uh, doing this, uh, Song of the Elysian Puzzle gets us a throwing act of silence. which is, for us, sales fodder, but it is a plus three with extra on hit save dependent. All right. But, you know, plus three weapons are pretty good. All right. Um, these aren't actually, because you can see they sell for five each. They're not actually magical. <clears throat> Same with... We had a whole bunch of plus two breastplates again, too. Same thing. And also some plus two full plate. I wonder if I kept that. Yeah, this 375 is what normal full plate sells for. So, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and leave. Proceed when you're ready. Well, we're not quite ready. Uh, as you can see, we missed the sixth due to various time skips. That's kind of annoying. Because, uh, you know, I have recruits on the way that they might have wanted to be here. And now I don't know if they'll get there in time. Okay, we're off to our camp to talk to everyone. First thing we're going to do is level and mythic ranks. And... I think going forward, I'm just going to do these level and mythic rank ups um, off camera for people that I'm not using. But since I've been doing it throughout Act 1 and Act 2, I'll go and finish it for here. But starting in Act 3, I'm not going to show these. Once I take them out for their various companion quests and stuff like that, I'll try to briefly go over what I did for them. Okay, um, for whatever reason, I like doing... Uh, levels and mythic ranks in the same order that I got them. So let's do level 8 for Nenio. And Nenio takes her cross blooded sorcerer level right here for a couple of reasons. Uh, intelligence. She gets to catch up here. Alright, so the primary reason for doing this cross-blooded sorcerer is these bloodline powers. And she's going to take Fey Bloodline, because that provides a plus two bonus to all of her uh, compulsion schools. And this is for all spells that she casts, not just those that she casts as a sorcerer, which she won't really cast any as a sorcerer. <laughs> so, uh, this applies to all her wizard spells. Enchantment DC goes up by two. Less one. Uh, where do I set the second one? Oh, right here. Uh, with her sorcerer bonus feat, we are taking heightened spell and that'll complete the prerequisites for lore master which she'll start taking next level plus heightened spell is good for you know a 
uh, real caster that, you know, depends on uh, DCs and stuff like that. So her second bloodline is going to be undead. And that is for the undead bloodline where uh, she can treat undead as humanoids. So basically she can hideous laughter and other uh, enchantment spells against undead. And not even just enchantment, like Phantasmal Killer and all that stuff too. So. Uh, this literally doesn't matter. And that is it for level 8. But now we go to her mythic rank 2. And that is going to be expanded arsenal enchantment. And this is how she, become, she becomes an enchantment specialist. So right now she has spell focus, greater spell focus, illusion. So now those will also apply to enchantment. However, she's going to start taking like spell focus and evocation and greater spell focus and transmutation and various other schools. Those will also apply to enchantment. So, her enchantment DCs are just going to go sky high. Now, I'm not taking a lot of the extra companion stuff to help with this. Like, I'm not going to have a court poet. I'm not having uh, Sozeal take the madness domain, for example. Um, and those help out DC casters a lot. So, I won't get the full menu effect. But we're probably not even going to make it far enough to get to her next quest anyway. <laughs> Alright, next up is Mythic Rank 8 for Darren. Um, mm, I could, you know, make his pet better, but I'm just going to start taking... Uh... Enduring. Greater Enduring. Okay. Oh, uh, Rajal, level 8. Let's go ahead and take a Hell Knight level. So this gets him his fearsomeness. Alright, so... A lot of people like going full decks on Regil, but with spells like, hmm, I don't know, I guess I'll trust other people and go full decks. Now, I'm going to go how I usually do. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to use them. It's, the reason I still like going strength is because it's just so much easier to bump strength with things like legendary proportions and things like that. So... Now, let's go ahead and do Dex. Alright. Um, sure. Why not? A uh, fear. Well, force of will. Uh, yeah, let's get a bonus against compulsion. Discipline. This is his fearsomeness. So next level he's going to take... Uh, what do you call it? Ooh, I forgot the name of it. But it's the one where if you're power attacking... Uh, you get to demoralize if you hit. Or try to demoralize at least. And when that happens... If he's successful they'll become frightened. So... Alright, um, Regil's Mythic level. So, because I decided to go Dex, I guess I need Mythic Weapon Finesse. And that'll be with his Gnome Hook Hammer. This is so that he gets uh, Dexterity to his damage. 
No, this is weapon focus. This isn't mythic weapon finesse. Here it is. There we go. Is he able to use? Okay, he is using his dex. Alright, so I guess the Gnome Book Tamer is a uh, finessable weapon. I didn't realize it was. Okay. And he is now giving dexterity damage as well. Okay, uh, let's check in with everybody. And I will also, I'm not going to do a full sweep, but I'm going to... Why are you so blurry? I am also going to go in all the buildings, but I'm not going to do a full map sweep. Oh, uh, looks like land is a okay. All is good in his life. All right. Beautiful. Hey, Regal, you're over here. What about Yaker? Is Yaker around? Oh, okay. You're still going to keep your mouth quiet? I know. I can... I can sense your disapproval, Regil. All right, Nenio. All right, uh, Helor, do you have anything? Can do. Are you still around? You are. Let's take a look around your tent first. All right. Uh, did I miss a hidden check? I thought this was the, the point where you take the trickster option to sort of strike a deal with her later. Maybe that happens later. That might happen during Dryzen. I don't remember. Okay. Your Beth. I see you've lost the golem again. What do you have to say about yourself? About that? Uh, I should check the map. Make sure everyone's in the right place. Looks like they are. Yeah, everyone's where they're supposed to be. Except Wolgif, of course. No golem in here? Alright. Alright. Um, let's go down this side. Chapel? Nothing? Alright. Why can't I... Uh, can I add the... Sexant and all those things to the Desna altar? No, you can't. Well, no, you can't. Okay, hey, there he is. Hi, Aaron. All right, we need to talk to Sozeal for uh, from a dead woman's hand. Oh, is there actually something on his? Usually it's blank. <laughs> Hail.
I didn't know there were. Oh, I guess there is knowledge engineering in tabletop. So, yeah, makes sense that there's engineers. <laughs> time i i know i don't think it's any one dialogue option i think it's sort of a series of things that affects how this whole story ends up but right now prospero is definitely going to try to encourage so i don't know if this is the way to get to the best ending um well actually i think the best ending is actually uh where trevor ends up sacrificing himself to save so rather than getting them back. Um, I should probably talk to Erebeth again. just asked you about this, but, you know, in these five seconds, have you changed your mind? Oh, okay. Alright. So, thus ends from a dead woman's hands. Huzzah. Pat? Darren? Uh, we haven't talked since your birthday bash. Um, hmm. I don't think Darren will like this option, but I'll take it anyway, because I don't have a good enough reason to not take the good option. probably go over some bios uh so Zeal finally got from a dead woman's hands bio and dayran while the world burns so this is probably available as soon as we actually completed that quest but i don't know Alright, Visile! Oh, yeah, that's right. Forn? Kiato? Kiato? 
chiara. Who are you, Chiara? Okay, um, uh, see what you got. Nothing, nothing. Same stuff that we've seen before. Paralysis and some restoration. And restoration. That'll work. Maybe. Oh, I don't have that much. I gotta sell stuff before doing Oh no, not resurrection. <laughs> Restoration. There we go. Although I could probably I should probably should get some raised deads. Uh, I have one more scale. Let's get some raised deads. Just one. Alright. Anything else noteworthy? Foreign. Where were you? Wait, I already asked you this once, didn't I? Yeah. Well, maybe not. Was foreign in there? No, it was... It was Horgus and Elor and uh, I don't think Foreign was there. I don't remember. All right, let's continue our track. Um, Sila should be around this area. Nothing. Uh. Lampkin? Grandma? Alright. Cam! Ms. Camellia. Nice hat. Borgus? Crusader. Blacksmith. Earbeth. Nope. Uh, no, okay. So, nothing to ask her about Sozio and Trevor. All right. All right. Will, sir. Yeah. Rousing song seems fine. All right. Uh, I have no idea what that does. Uh, it doesn't state anything in here. Okay, uh, at this point in time, I need to pause to take care of inventory and spell prep as we prepare for Dresden. 
and then I will cut back in when we camp and leave, or when we rest and then leave the camp. Alright, I shall be back. Alright, looks like we found the golem. I guess Nevia, or sorry, Airbeth managed to pawn it off on a Nevia. Where were you? Okay. Navia, do you have any thoughts on this whole attack? No? Okay. Alright. Uh, so, I did use the signet to cheat on this upcoming knowledge world check for our bedtime snack. And as much as I would like to find out what Camellia's bonus is, I might be able to do that some other time. Uh, but for now, I want something that helps saves. Uh, which is not that. Alright. Speed. Sk oh, skills. I might want skills instead. Because there are a lot of skills in Dresden. So skills or saves. So... If it's plus three skills, I'm going to take that. Unless I can get significant saves. Uh, plus one saves? No, I'm going to take plus three on skills. Alright, so that was Moss Pottage. Alright, that'll work. You care about your soldiers. Lots of people don't like you, but I know you are a kind man. Of course I care about them. Their combat effectiveness is my responsibility. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, anything unusual out here? Doesn't look like it. Let's talk to Wilson one last time on the way out. Nothing? Alright, let's go. So it's late in the day on the 9th. This is pretty good. So that means I'll have two days to work with on our Crusader army. Because we still need to travel back west. And the next day will come. Alright. Let's go. Um, is that the right group? <laughs> I didn't look. It should be the right group. Yeah. So we can do that, and that, and that, and that, and that'll work. Okay, uh, next time we get a Crusader army to get rid of that. And then there will be some more demon armies that are available this way. And we'll see how far we can get on those. All right. Thanks for joining me. This is Forkus Bite, signing out. Signing out.